the tectonic plates we stand on are constantly moving. When two oceanic plates of similar density are pushed together, the plate of a slightly greater density is forced under the other in a process called subduction. In the case of an oceanic and continental plate, the much denser oceanic plate subducts under the much lighter continental plate. When the plate subducts into the hot mantle, it melts into a magma less dense than its surroundings. As a result of its density and buoyancy, the light magma rises and breaks through different types of material until it reaches the surface. If it manages to break through the surface without solidifying, a volcanic eruption occurs and a composite volcano forms. When a volcano erupts, pyroclastic flow, comprised of hot gas and debris, which can reach up to 800 degrees Celsius, engulf the area. After every eruption, lava and ash layer to begin the volcano's slow ascent to the monstrous body we see today. Even in the surrounding area, the layers of ash and lava can be evident. The lava that flows from composite volcanoes rarely gets far away due to its viscosity. It is thick as a result of its abundance of silicate materials. This type of lava is felsic, as opposed to its thinner counterpart, mafic. All throughout areas of subduction, volcanic activity shapes the terrain. This is why areas near subduction zones are usually full of varying terrain, while places like here are, well, flat. And until next time, thanks for watching.